Ha I just want to prepare you for what you're going to see. Be straight. Antonio Napa's coming to Oz. What? The mob boss? Italiano. It's impossible. No, this is not bullshit. Antonio Napa. I'm Peter's godfather. No, his actual godfather at baptism. I got kids too. Mostly they're a pain in the ass. In my business, you're always ready to die, ready for the quick shot in the back of the head. No! <laughs> you all right? He's still got no one to talk to. It's been a while. Can you get me started? Prisoner number 98N744, Antonio Napa, convicted June 4th, 98, murder in the second degree. Sentence, 80 years. Up for parole in 50. Do you believe in voodoo, Chucky, the power of magic? No. Oh. What? There's an old wives' tale in Sicily that a new bride waits until she menstruates. Then she takes her blood and puts it into the first tomato sauce she makes for her husband. Perverted, sick animal. What for? If he eats her blood, she can control him forever. Somebody's got had a BC under a spell. Too bad it's not us. Needless to say, I was saddened by Peter Chabetta's rape. All I ask is that you punish the man responsible. We won't tolerate revenge. No, should you? The problem is we have no witnesses. And Kama was unconscious and Chabetta... He's unwilling to talk. That's right. May I see him? No. Make the smart decision here. Absolutely. You said a beauty who raped Peter. I want him to suffer. I want to take away whatever's most important to him. Uh, well, uh, that would be heroin. It's a fiend. Then his black ass is mine. I want you to suggest to Glenn that it's time to do a little random drug testing. Said. Oh my. Napa, he engineered the drug testing to slow you down. Looks like I'm gonna have to give me some deals. What? A girl grabbed that bitch Napa and his guinea friends got their fruits. What? Please go back. You disgrace us all when you act like a fool. I need you to find out something else for me. Yeah? What's that? That obesity isn't just the toxin, something or someone is screwing with his head. You and that guy Jara, man, they got some strange shit going on. Bye bye. Pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. That old man Jara. Yeah. I want him dead. Yo, yo. Anybody smell garlic? Hey, fuck. Easy, you. everybody. We didn't come here to fight. Your man, out of BC, he's lost his edge. <laughs> nah, he's just a little sick, that's all. He'll be all right. Really? I got control of all the tits and eyes. You guys got shit. Now, rather than us taking shots at each other, I say we call the truce and work together. Fuck nap. Think about that for a moment. Who's going to get every pair of tits that comes in this place, huh? Make the smart decision here. We ain't gonna be your bitches. Hey, we work together. We share. We in business. Now, as a sign of good faith, there's a little job I need done.
eso. That beast has been going through detox and acting all crazy lately. And then he goes and stabs that sweet old man. Kenny. No, no. Bricks. I told you. A million times. Bricks. That Kenny Wangler shit is dead. Bricks. You show Mr. Knapp some respect. Oh, it's all right, Chucky. He and I are business partners. Well, what kind of business? What monkey business? We don't stand on formality. Tomorrow, everybody gets healthy. So I don't want this snake to hear too much about our operation. Look, that's my role dog. He all right, all right? He seems all right, at least. Well, seems isn't good enough. On the corner, don't you have some way to measure a fella's loyalty? Yeah, we got something like that. What the hell? Fuck this nigga, yo! What? 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 All right, stop! All right, stop! Come on, motherfucker. Get up, nigga. Yeah, he down with us. Well, then the two of you can cuddle in the privacy of your cell, but he's not working in my cafeteria. Are we clear on that? Bricks. <laughs> By taking Jada's life, you saved mine. What? I'd like to work back in the kitchen, please. Okay. We have an arrangement with Wrangler. I don't want you selling tits. Tits! I'm done with drugs. All right, what the fuck? I know you don't believe him, do you? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Come on, all that bullshit about Africa and trust him. He's setting us up. Well, that remains to be seen. Fuck that, I'm twisting the shit the first nah, chance I get. you don't touch him unless I get to say so. Bullshit, fuck what you say. Nah, this is not bullshit. You take a walk. Skin. Why not let him kill that obese? There's no skin off of us. You know, Wrangler's very cocky. If our Nigerian friends change our heart is real, he could be worth plenty to us alive. Antonio Napa. 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 Mr. Napa. Napa. Antonio Napa. Napa. Mr. Napa. Fuck Napa. 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 Mr. Napa. Mr. Napa. Jugs. Antonio Napa. Napa says the children. Fuck Napa. Napa's gone. Cool. Napa. It's Mr. Napa. Fuck Napa. Wrangler's very cocky. Ow! Gotta be so you just pinch me? No, boss. sense of conscience. What do you want, Saeed? Help me protect Hill. All of us together. What do you want, Saeed? We make it clear to Wangler. We will not tolerate any harm coming along. You know, I, I know that you're in Jemaine family a little. They're nice people, never hurt a soul. And the father, he died in Nam. Nam, huh? Count the brotherhood in. You? I don't get it. Why would you want to transfer out of the cafeteria to take care of a bunch of fags, huh? Sometimes you need to do something. Oh, yeah, well, that's one of the many differences between you and me. See, I got self-control. Yeah, I wish I was more like you. To me, a fag is a fag. I can't stand having one of them near me. That's offensive. But you, Sicilian, you kiss each other on the cheek. That's respect, not sex. Antonio, I got the results back from your test. Um, I don't know how to tell you this. 
You're HIV positive. What? Fuck. That is not possible. Correct me if I'm wrong. The only way to get AIDS is by having sex or sharing a needle. Well, I haven't done either. And there's never any touch involved. No contact. A double check. Triple check. Antonio, I'm going to schedule you for counseling and make the arrangements for your transfer. Transfer? State policy. All inmates who test positive for HIV are to be isolated. This isn't happening to me. Skipper, I don't get it. Somebody must have monkeyed with the test. So all I know for sure is Gwen says I gotta move to E. You mean when I go to see you? That's what isolated means, Chucky. The inmates in E, they don't mingle with Gen Pop. Until I get back, you're in charge. Okay. Can I offer you something to drink, Father Cappuccino? You have a cappuccino machine? Well, I'm trying to make the best of a worst-case situation. Yeah, I'll have a cappuccino, sure. Okay, sit. You know, Father, I've always considered you nothing but a hack in black. I'm trying to demonstrate that I'm more than just a stoolie from the war. Well, for me, it goes much deeper than that. In my neighborhood, growing up, a boy became one of four things. A doctor, a lawyer, a priest, or a businessman. I understand. And in order to become a businessman, you had to burn the saint. You know about burning the saint? Oh, yeah. That's when you burn a picture of a saint in order to renounce your obligation to the church. Thank you. I thought it was a mistake, the test saying I was HIV positive, so I had my own doctor check the results, and it's true. <laughs> You're Kasigan, right? And I heard of you, the most brutal hitter in Little Odessa. I'm extending my hand to you in friendship. I don't need your friendship. Mine. Let me tell you something. My boys control everything that goes in and out of this joint. Drugs, cigarettes, gambling. You decide to start your bullshit here, you won't live till morning. You Italians, so melodramatic. What? I tell them, I say, Sonny, you got a pair of balls. And then I blew them both off. Who the fuck are you? Nat Ginsburg. Your new roommate? Okay, new roomie. You listen up and listen good. This is my cell. You just sleep here. You got a name, tough guy? Napa. Mr. Napa. Mmm. I love to eat Italian. Ain't no fag. I'm, uh, I'm doing my memoirs. You don't by any chance need a Boswell, do you? And this could be useful. Sure. What's your name again? Natalie. Yeah. He's writing some fucking book about his life. And from what I hear, he tells everything. I want us to get the book. I'll take care of Napa. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. I want to make dinner. And I think we should get dressed to the nines. Fine. Oh, come on, please. We'll see, we'll see. Did I overdress? Oh, Jesus. Ta-da! You know, you look a lot like my ex-wife. Thanks. That's not a compliment. For this. Wine. <laughs> You're not the only one who can move merchandise. You know, you want to let that breathe for a while. I know. Me. To your book, to your life, and the successful completion of both. I ain't dead yet. No, you're not. <clears throat> Mr. Napa? <sighs> Done. This may be the greatest true crime book since In Cold Blood. <clears throat> See you, boss. See you. Keep in touch. What in the fuck? No problem.